could cite one instance of a baby being pulled from an incubator by uh, Iraqi soldiers and killed. Uh, there were babies killed because of neglect and because of the American bombardment uh, uh, of Kuwait and of Iraq, uh, because a lot of hospital personnel fled. There were casualties. There were infants uh, who died. But there were no uh, babies killed by being pulled from incubators. It never happened. And this was, uh, I think, as you note, know, the beginning of a, a new effort at the—or the, uh, an inc uh, increased effort at prop the propaganda campaigns of, of our government to justify war. Right. And this is something that hasn't been explored enough. Again, we go back to George Bush's uh, alleged uh, WASP uh, integrity and respectability. Well, he's also the father of, of uh, George W. Bush, who took the propaganda, cam uh, propaganda campaign a couple of steps further with uh, Saddam's fake atomic bomb program. Never happened. Never existed. Uh, in the time that we said it was going on. Uh, he may have had ambitions before, but it, there certainly was no atomic bomb program in uh, 2002, 2003. Uh, but uh, we've now gotten so used to uh, debating uh, whether we should go to war or not based on fake news. I'm sorry to quote Donald Trump, but false information, uh, that we don't know how to discuss these uh, subjects anymore. And the war-making power has been taken out of the hands of the people, almost been taken out of the hands of the Congress. Uh, it's almost quite... Somebody said to me earlier, why did Bush bother to ask Congress for permission to invade Iraq in, in 1991? Uh, well, back then, we were still uh, a little bit more of a constitutionally uh, ruled country. And there was this bitter memory of the Gulf of Tonkin resolution and Vietnam and uh, the fact that we fought an undeclared war uh, on, on false pretexts.